These are Project MC Square dolls made by MGA, where smart is the new cool. Because these girls are not only trendy with super cute fashion, but they are also super clever and come with science experiments that can be done at home. You can catch episodes of their live action show on Netflix, where Brayden Bandwith, Michaela McAllister, Adrian Adams, and Cameron Coyle solve problems using science. Okay, now let's take these dolls out of the box. Now this is wave two for the doll and experiment combo pack. They stand at about 10 and a half inches tall. Some will appear taller than others because of their shoes. The head can pivot on the neck. They have rotation at the shoulder, can bend at the elbow, and turn at the wrist. The leg can pivot at the hip and bend at the knee. They have glass-like eyes and eyelashes. They are all dressed in unique fashion, and I love, love, love their style. Adrian is wearing a cute little jacket with a floral dress, some heart print knee-high socks, and a pair of glasses. Bryden is wearing a cute little emoji hoodie with a plastic jacket, Tetris tights, teddy bear shoes, and a cat ear headband. Michaela is wearing a purple dress with a trench coat, black knit tights, lace-up boots, and a floral cap. Cameron is wearing a cute little jean romper with a camo jacket, printed tights, and some totally sci-fi looking shoes. And a faux fur trapper hat. All of these dolls have gloves for hands, and they do offer the doll a small rotation. However, you can always switch them out with wave one to look like the doll has taken off her gloves. All of them have a little texture to their hair, and out of the box, some of them may require a little TLC. And since their outfits are so cute, you may be wondering if they can fit other dolls. Some of their t-shirts and tops can fit Barbies and other dolls of a similar build. Now, let's try out those experiments. We are going to make perfume with Adrian. She comes with a perfume bottle, a perfume cap, a comb, and a disguise. To make the experiment, we are going to just use the perfume bottle. Then we have to add some rose water, which I found at the all-natural grocery store, vanilla extract, and a rose. Each doll does come with an instruction booklet with lots of do's and don'ts on the back, so be sure to read that. And adult supervision is recommended. So my assistant here is going to fill the bottle with rose water to the third line from the top. Pour away. One drop of vanilla extract and three torn or crushed rose petals. Put on the top, shake, and you're done. All right, that's enough. <laughs> hmm, smells good. To make Bryden's bracelet, we need the cuff and the pipette and a glass of water. First, we open the bracelet, fill the pipette with water, remove the cap, and add the water. Place the cap back on and close the top. And if you read the back of the box, it gives a scientific explanation for why the bracelet glows. Ooh, look at the pretty colors. Next up is Michaela's Invisible Ink. We'll be using the pen, paper, baking soda, berry tea, warm water, and measuring spoons. In a cup, combine two teaspoons of baking soda and one tablespoon of water. Stir, twist off the top of the pen, pour the mixture inside, Tightly replace the cap, write a message onto a piece of paper, let it dry completely, place the tea in warm water, wring it out, then rub the tea bag over your message. So fabsome. Last but not least, let's make Cameron's robot. Using the included robot base, eyes, ears, and whiskers. Plus we need one food item, which is going to be a marshmallow. Place the marshmallow onto the robot base, add eyes, ears, and a nose, wind the base, and watch them go. We found these dolls at Target and Toys R Us for $24 to $26. However, you can also find a single doll version for $10 to $16 with the basic five points of articulation. 
overall, I think these dolls are super fun and super trendy. And we can't wait to see what they come up with next. And that's our collection for now. Get up, no room for recitation now. It's time, it's time to show the way. Give a shout out to Sky's Blogs. What's up? There. That ought to do it. Wow. What's that? A time machine so we can fast forward to summer. But why can't we just check this out? I think you went too far forward. Oops. Too far back. Better yet, why don't I just wait for the bell to ring? <laughs> it's the last day of school anyway. Okay, but what are we supposed to do about these guys? 